Hey everybody, happy Monday from the uh, Travel Club. Let me get a shot of this real quick so you can have an idea where I am. And of course, you know, I call that the refrigerator all over there for one reason, because ice cold air. And this area is only, go ahead, you're fine. Um, you're, this area is only available to Travel Club members. So you gotta be a member of the Travel Club, the Travel Club. My friend Dwight pointed out these cool things here. Reed and Cole and Caleb and Atlas and Sophia. Here are these beach toys here. They can... So that's hey Dwight. Dwight, I don't know you're at RIU. I don't know where you are in relation to me, but I'm at um, I'm at Playa, Playa de Carmen, right down the road from you probably. Uh, I'm here at a Palladium Riviera Maya. But Dwight, I need to have you and your wife come to the Palladium Resorts because these are great. But I bet it's a little bit warmer here than in Wisconsin. So anyway, this is the Travel Club. And um, the one thing about the Travel Club beach area here, it's kind of nice. You've got these palapas and you're out, of the sh you're out of the sun. And everyone knows, if you've watched any of my videos, Marty likes for me to be out of the sun. And, of course, my friend uh, Ernesto works there in the refrigerator. Now, I'm concerned if I walk too close to the beach, I'm going to lose the Wi-Fi. But there's the water right there. And the Travel Club is just a great, great place. you got the, the big Bali beds, I guess is what they call those. And people like those. So let's go this way. And if I bounce out of Wi-Fi, just stick with me. It'll come back. But having a, a great time here. I'm staying at Riviera Maya, then heading up to Costa Mujeres later in the week. And I, I think one of the, I always say this, the number one questions I'm asked. But one of the number one questions I'm asked is, Scott, which favorite resort? And that's a hard question to answer because all of them are great in their own way. TRS Coral. Grand Play of Costa Mujeres, more of the Miami vibe. Uh, TRS Yucatan, the Grand Palladium Riviera Maya, more of a jungle, a flora fauna. TRS Turquesa, and then uh, Grand Palladium Punta Cana, very nice, very, very nice. Look at my TRS Turquesa video. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I mean, just, <laughs> I love TRS Turquesa. Um, Grand Palladium, Jamaica. Now, Jamaica is different because island time, slower, more relaxed vibe. So as I've said before, if you are a type A person, you know, where you're tapping your foot and you want stuff to move real quick, Jamaica may not be the best option for you. You just got to be more relaxed and understand it, it's at a slower pace than you may like. So... And listen, I've been trying not to get video of people, but there's some folks over there by the volleyball, some young people. So there are people here, okay? There are people there. And as I've said before, I really try to respect people's privacy. Privacy. Here I am at the Colonial Pool. Hey, let's go over to the water park. That's one thing, like with Susie and Brittany and Lauren and Stephanie, uh, they probably want to see where the kids can play. Oh, that sun is hot. Oh my gosh. But there's a cool breeze. I think they're making guacamole over there. We can go see in a minute if you want. This is the uh, little kids club. Now that little blonde kid looks like around three, maybe two and a half, three year old. And so this would be a great place for Jules, for Atlas, for uh, Reed and Cole. Now Cole may be too little for this. If Brian or myself sat with Cole and go down that slide, maybe that'd work. But those big slides there, I mean, that's more like Atlas and Reed, bigger kids. I don't know, Reed, I don't know about that. But, and again, these are kids that I know. So you can just plug in names, you know, four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old kids. How you doing? 
How old is he? Like four? Three? Oh my great. Two and a half? You're two and a half? He's big for two and a half. <laughs> He's got, I like his hair. <laughs> See, you got some activities here. See, there's people here. It's, it's not totally crowded, but again, it's a Monday. Let's see what's going on here. How you doing? What's going on? People are standing in line. I don't know what they're making. It looks like they're making crepes. Pretty cool, huh? So here I'm at Colonial. Go this way. Like I said, there's volleyball going on over there. Eating dinner at Sumptori tonight, the Asian restaurant. Ate at La Boheme last night, the uh, French restaurant. Had some crepes. Excuse me, had some crepes. I was just looking at crepes. Had um, French onion soup. But I'll tell you, any re any Palladium resort you go to, you're going to do just fine. Doesn't matter which one. From Grand Palladium Riviera Maya Colonial. And also, I just want to give a shout out to Grand Palladium White Sand, who earned the four-star AAA rating. Uh, you don't just get that. They don't just hand that out. You've got to earn it. So congratulations to White Sand on that. Scott Lair, Scott Lair, 1961 on Twitter, cruisegenius.com.